What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with a quick review of a Netflix uh, show, in this case the five episode season of Masters of the Universe Revelation. So um, it was a pretty quick uh, show to get through, so I ended up watching it all in, all in one afternoon, e or e afternoon slash evening, so I thought I would get a quick review out. And overall I want to say that the show is pretty good, it carries over the um, corniness of the original He-Man cartoon from like the 80s and maybe 90s I want to say but it improves on that dialogue to the point where it's not cringeworthy no pun intended for cringer but overall I found that the five episodes were decently done I did also like the animation but granted I'm not um, any sort of animation expert so I can't really speak to the actual like details and good or badness of it but for me I liked it it wasn't anything terrible the colors were balanced enough and good um, the only downside that I kind of found with it was that well I don't know, really even want to say downside but it's kind of because because it's kind of uh, mixing what I was expecting was gonna happen versus what actually happened but um, I was kind of hoping that, or the way that the show was going was that they were going to turn Tila into the next He-Man, or I guess She-Woman, or maybe even lead it into a new She-Ra series, I guess, but they kind of went along the lines of turning, or they went exactly along the lines of turning Skeletor into the next masters, Master of the Universe. So I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to make another season of Masters of the Universe where they... Um, have Adam um, trying to get back or return the magic to get Skeletor out of Castle Grace Cull or lead into Shira or Tila or maybe introducing Shira into season two as the female portion of the Masters of the Universe and then um, from there having her defeat Skeletor to return Castle Grace Cull back to Adam or something along those lines. So overall, I want to say that. Um, that kind of aside from where they were um, leading us, it was pretty good. And then as far as the revelation, the only real revelation was that, like I said, Skeletor wasn't actually dead. He was hiding in um, Evil Lynn's staff. And she, <coughs> while they led us on as far as her um, pretending to be good or refor reforming her ways, um, actually wanted to continue working with Skeletor and that may even be her wanting to prop up Skeletor so she can do whatever she wants to do in the background and on her own without um, arousing any suspicion kind of along the lines of while everyone is focused on Skeletor failing at being the Lord of Dis the Lord of Destruction she can do whatever she wants as the puppet master from the background so overall I want to say that or if I was to grade the show, I'd probably give it around a <coughs> maybe about a 90%, I guess. Like I said, it wasn't bad. It wasn't overly great. So I'd probably want to give it the 90% range and maybe a few more episodes to develop the stories a little more. Maybe spend more time in... Uh, heaven and hell with those characters I guess but it wasn't you know like quickly paced and it wasn't slowly paced so that's kind of why I'm kind of hesitant about that and why more information would be better dealt with in um, newer and more seasons of the show so that's all there is for this particular review like I said pretty quick review there's not too much to talk about or say animations for me weren't bad so and that's just me from an amateur knowing nothing about animation styles. I enjoyed it. Sound was good. It kind of, it really brought, for me, it felt, brought the look and feel of the old Masters of the Universe, but in a more cleaner look and layout and a little bit more of a modern aesthetic to make it presentable. So that's all for this particular review. So again, that's Masters of the Universe Revelation on Netflix. It's only five episodes. They're all about... Uh, 24 minutes long so like basically about movie length so one evening or afternoon of your time is all about it's or about all it's gonna take so for me I give it a recommendation 
Um, if you're expecting something longer or something along the lines of Castlevania, it's definitely not along those lines as far as length or depth of um, character development or story progression. You kind of go into it having already known or knowing kind of what the show is about, um, who the various characters are, and all of that. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, what you liked, disliked, or anything like that, you can find me on uh, Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But, that, that, but thanks for tuning into this particular review, and until next time.